Welcome everybody to the Humble George's channel where we do remods and uh, customizations and a couple days ago a fellow named was it Venom X? Venom? Venom? Oh rats. Well anyway it was Venom something or other he asked me Humble how do you put graphics on the sides of cars? Well I'm going to make a short video to show you how I do it it's probably not the way that uh, it could be done or should be done but it's the way that I've learned to do it uh, I'm not going to tell you it's the easy way because it's probably the hard way but it does get the job done and if you're taking a look at this nice uh, 1966 Ford Fairlane 427 Ford uh, you'll see that it is a nice looking car now and of course it goes good too Fortunately for me, I learned how to make them go good before I made, learned how to make them look good. So this car is a nice car. I'm not the best remod I've ever done, but certainly right up there as far as competitive and fun to drive and sound good and the whole works with the interior lights and everybody's happy. But here's what we're going to do. Since you see the car there and hear the happy music that was recorded right here at Winter's Edge Recording Studio by... Uh, humble George with a short amount of money that I've got I can't afford to pay people to come in and sit in as studio musicians so for many years I've had to do all the instruments myself so it never gets far never gets marvelous but it gets better than nothing that's about all I can say so without any further ado now that you've had a good walk around the car and taken a good look at it um, it is pretty nice I don't know if I can hit F1 and get in the car no, I can't. Okay, what a thought was there. I thought maybe I could scoot in there while I was happy, but I can't. Not with it doing the rotisserie. But uh, what do you think of the chrome underneath? That thing come out nice. And we've got flames right out the pipes where they belong. We've got uh, major parts undercoated, as you can see. They're dark. Nice big tires, though. You need that for a 427. And uh, so come on, let's um, get this little critter squared away here auto orbit let's get him out of auto orbit come on over here and, um, and take a look at this puppy I'd like to tell you the wipers work and the doors open and the hood opens but nothing nothing happens at least I don't think so let's try a door nothing happens let's try a wiper nothing happens how about this door nothing happens what about the sound of it do we have a sound of a car Yes, we do. Yeah. Oh, yes. Music to my ears. Nice carbon fiber underbody. Lighten it up just a little bit. What a happy car. Oh, wait. Nice bird's eye maple wood interior. Santa Claus could deliver pe presents in this son of a bitch. Many a reindeer. And uh, the brakes? Yes, we do have brake lights. Okay, let's turn this off before all hell breaks loose or something else happens. So, there we are. This really nice car. And how do we get the graphics on the side? Well, you might say, well, Humble, uh, what did it look like before you tried the graphics? It looked like this right here just a plain Jane pretty if kind of frigid air ish but not bad nice interior not fantastic but it's uh it's leather and if I can get the mouse to work happily which it's fighting me tooth and effing nail it's got a nice nice uh texture to it take a look at this one that's really ripping red and then uh, here's a nice orange one that's just a, a stock black but um, I added the stripes to the orange now that was about an hour and a half job getting the stripes exactly straight on the orange car it they didn't oh it's a job man so it's, it's not laid out like you think so without any further ado let me show you where we begin First things first, let's go to the shit can. 
pull this back out of there because I got frustrated and gave it the boot. I was going to show you with Single Racer Australia's lettering how to do it, but that got to be a convoluted pain in the ass. So basically what you have to do is you have to have some idea how the car is laid out. And so let's go to this thing. This thing here is a map that uh, shows the, where it's going to highlight the car. It's called a 66 white map, and that shows you uh, where it's going to... The darker the green, the more the highlight to the uh, paint. The lighter the green, the less highlight. So this would be darker, and this would be lighter on the top. And that's what they want. But we needed to know, how is this car situated? What is the size of the map? And how can we begin? Because when you have just something with no color on it, you don't know where the front of the car is, the back of the car, sides of the car. You don't know. See, this kind of makes sense. This makes sense if you drape the piece of cloth over it. It, the front would always be in the front and the back would always be in the back. That's not always the case. In many, in many cases, it's not like that at all. What happens is uh, you'll, it's all different. So it's impossible to tell. So how do you begin, Humble? Well, what you do is this. You go to the, to the skin that you want to work with. You open up the skin. And um, after a while... Well, not after a while. Let me show you how to do it. Come on. Let's go get any car. Just any car. That's fine. Grab a car with graphics on it. Okay? Let's go to the showroom. Grab a car with graphics. You see the graphics are happy. You go, oh, how nice. And actually, this car is freaking awesome. This car came out way beyond where you would ever expect it to. I even got the other seat in it, thanks to those nice people that did the AMX um, they offered a bunch of cars, and they did some nice work, and they made it able to me to uh, utilize a little bit of their stuff to be into that. But as you can see, this is one serious AMX, and that wasn't even my favorite year. But how do we begin, Humble? You're, you're going apeshit here. All right. Touch the outside of the car. The name of the car itself is up here. The body material is here. TX Diffuse is generally speaking... This is it right here. So what does this tell us, Humble? Well, it's obvious by the look of the car that this is the front right here. Remember the other one, the front was on the other side? Yeah, you do. Okay, so um, well, we do have some, but just relax. This is, this is the top. What's this thing? That is a grand question. It, it, I don't have any idea. We're going to have to take a closer look at that. But that is the skin base. Now, the common paint is this purplish-looking stuff that makes it... Uh, all this stuff brings it out into 3D. Now, here's the uh, D-Bro white map right here. You see, it doesn't show the car like it should be. And it's actually, it's got an effed up couple of artifacts that need to be fixed. Um, it shouldn't look like that. That's a fuck-up, and that's just the way it is. And then, then we've got metal detail, which is this here. This gives it some shine, all right? So, what does that tell us, Humble? Well, number one, see this? This is the happy front end of the car. So that's the way it would be. Nine out of ten, that dark color was these two top things right here. Nine out of ten. So how do we figure that out, Humble? Well, I'll show you. Now, this is going to go fast, so stick with me, because this is this is going to be, uh, I don't want to spend a long time with this. Javelin, Skins, uh, was it 68, was it? I think it was 68. So remember what, what it was? It was called Skin Base. So we got to copy the Skin Base, and since that's the same name, we can't use that. There, just give it a different name. Now, simmer this thing down. Now, what you're going to need to do is you're going to have to have a couple of programs. You're going to need a KN5 converter. Have to have it. You have to have a DDS converter. Have to have it. You have to have an uh, easy-to-convert JPEG to DDS, PNG to DDS, PSD to PNG, and now you're in business. Without these programs... Don't even bother because it's going to be such a pain in the ass. You won't be able to do it. 
because number one, we have to change this DDS file to something that we can see. So we go here, we add the DDS file, which is called skin base. See that? And now we want to turn it into a JPEG or a PNG. But a JPEG almost always works. The PNG has about an 80% chance of working. And 20% it's going to fuck it up. So basically what this does is this makes this... It's, it's, you can't tell what the fuck that is, so throw this out. But but this you can tell. So we go into edit, and we see this is a 4096 by 4096. So this is a huge bastard, right? And we're liking it, because that means the stuff we could harvest off of this thing would be friggin' amazing. Now, just, okay, these these flappers are part of that, but what is this? That, to me, looks like it would probably be the front of the car. I would say that there would be a, a headlight here and a headlight here, and this is probably, from what I could gather, to be the grill of the car. That's what I would say that is. But I was able to uh, harvest them from other cars and put them in there. All thanks, in large, to uh, Uncle M for his constant endorsing and pushing me forward into 3D editing. And then uh, what was the real kicker was... Earthworm 90 Jim got me going into it, and uh, and that's where we are today. So, how is this a help to you? Where are we about the um, same as this right here? Perfect example. Perfect example. Let's go into the showroom. You say, see this nice car. And it's got this bird on the front. I did it the same way. What you do is you take, you have to find out where where things are located. And then you, um, all right, let me, let me cut to the chase. Let's get back to where we once belonged. Here's this car, right? What we did was this. We found out the orientation of the car. We found out the size of the file. We know that the, the other size of the file is much bigger. I mean, it's the 40 by 96 type of deal. This is what the car needs. That other thing was small. I don't know why it doesn't correspond with being the right size. I don't have a clue. But what happens is, once you find out how the, how the thing is oriented, let me show you like this. I know you can hardly see it, but I need the real estate. We can't fiddle around with that foolishness now. Let's just put all this crap that we don't need in the commode. But what we do need is this thing right here. Edit. All right. Now. This is what we need. We need now the truth of the matter is, guys, they need to be the same as far as the size 4096, 4096. So, what I need to do is come up here to resize. Um, right, is that it? Resize. Uh, we want pixels 4096 by 4096. Okay, bam. Now we go to 25%. Now we got an exact. So we need the numbers to make to, to line up. We got 400 on the bottom, zero on the top. We got 400 by 400, all right? That's what we need. Because that's, you find out exactly where you're going to put things by, by taking your mouse. You can't see the mouse go up onto the car because it vanishes. But you, you go up and find on the mouse, uh, with the mouse, where you want it to be. You look at the corresponding numbers. Then you drag uh, your graphics over onto not this not not this page, but the page where your your new skin is going to be, okay? Not the white map, but the the skin base. All right. So this is very important that it goes there. Now, if we want to add other uh, logos and stuff to this particular map, this is how we would do it. Let me just say. All right, so we know that Hooker starts here and goes this way, but it's upside down. So let's try something with the champion. Let's get as close to the champion as we possibly can 
without getting any yellow color. All right, and drag him off of there. All right. Now that don't look right, because it ain't right, the champion thing. Uh, so what do we got to do to it? We're going to vertically flimp it, and then we're going to horizontally fuck with it. So it says champion that way, which is wrong. We're going to have to do it this way again. Okay, that's right. Hooker, champion. Okay, now, that's toward the front of the car. I don't think we could use that. But we can go to the back of the car, or we can have it creative, you know, to make it. I don't think we can go any lower. We might be able to go lower. I would like to see it here, but I don't know if we can. All right, let's try it anyway and see what happens. Okay, let's just leave that there like that. Now let's come over here and see if we can snag the STP. Now get as close to it as you possibly can. Not nosebleed close, but fairly close. Now we want to do the same thing with this. This we want to... Nope, that was wrong. Okay, STP. Now. Okay, now stick with me. What we're going to do, left and right mouse click onto the actual color. Now we're going to come over here and remove this. Okay, now we want to go even closer because I need to see exactly what we're doing here. All right, now there's a possibility we might be able to flood fill this, but I wouldn't want to bet my no, it ain't going to really work. Um, we're going to have to nip the whole thing to make it work properly, which isn't the end of the world. Um, all right. You know, we get as close as we can by eye. You don't want to hit the black part, and as soon as I say that, I probably will. But you want to leave a little bit of black because we have another tool that's not as not as fine as this that we can use. Now, as far as this, we got to be able to effing see. That's the, that is the truth. The better you can see, the better the job's going to come out. And you start just dicking with it mercilessly, uh, you're pretty well screwed. So what we're going to do is nip off all this extra bullshit and take off, see how it has artifacts? Boot those sons of bitches. All right, now, there's a better way to do this for nice lines. Come over here like this. Come right down to there and hit delete. Same thing here. Stretch it out. Get it to, to where it's happy. And clean it up. One more. Okay. See how that's that's starting to look a lot nicer? Now don't don't worry about anything. Just come over here nice and do it. Now that one's cleaned up nice. But we could see over here that this could stand to have, have the same thing done. Because it's got some white bleeding out around the edges of that. But we ain't going to worry about it too extensively right this minute. Boom. Just like that. Cleaned it right up. Now, come over here and get one of the brush tools. See, see what it looks like? And here we can scoot right along the edge. Nipping those, those edges off. Now, this you got to be artistic to some degree. Or, or actually, that was a fuck up. And don't just leave them because it makes a big difference in a few minutes when your eyes looking at this and sees a fuck up. You're gonna not be happy, and you're gonna get discouraged. So uh, that was a that was a fubaricus right there. But we might be able to salvage the fubaricus. Actually, we should have it a little bit bigger than that. The bigger uh, sometimes is well, you know the old story. They'll never go back.
you know, whatever. All right, all right. Now we need the, the brush to go the other way to do this side. As you can see, well, this isn't going to be as big of a pain in the ass as you already think it is. And, but this is what you got to do if you're going to add things to the, to the whole mix is each one of these has to be fiddled effed around with. Oh, that was a hose job right there. All right. It's, of course, I've been at this for several hours and I'm a little burnt on it. Oh, that was a huge cob job. Don't you, you see, if you don't pay attention and just let your hand go wandering through the bushes, uh, you could end up with a squirrel or the clap or some shit. All right, so we'll get out of there. Clean this up a little bit. Yikes. Okay, so let's step out of there. It's like this. We see where those are. So what we're going to do is come over here and do a, a selection. We're going to grab these just like this. Going to copy just like that. Now we're going to see the relationship of those. And come down to here and paste. And so we got the relationship of these. So we can see that what has to happen here is a rotate to the horizontal, and that should be fine. But let's move this as close as we possibly can, like that. Now, hit save. Okay. Now, what we did is we monkeyed with this. So what we're going to do is we got to have a name that's going to work for the car, skin base. Oh, you! where's the other one? Oh, hang on. Right here. Um, there. No problem. So, this is what you do. It takes time. You nip along. And um, now you come down to your JPEG, the DDS converter. Because it starts out at life as a JPEG, so you can see it right here. And uh, open it up. It'll make something that you can use. Now we're going to come over here like this. Make sure we got the right car. Cars, Fairlane, Skins. Um. Let's do this cream one. Let's make sure that we save this. Okay. Drag this in there. Now when we come into the program, we'll go to the other one. We'll go to showroom. Now what I'm afraid of is we put the things in the wheel wells. Yeah, we did, unfortunately. We placed everything in the wheel well holes, which is kind of a shame. We can go the other way or we can go above the hooker. Uh, or behind the hearst. Let's go above the hooker. So we got all this squared away nice. We're in good shape. I got the running lights the right color, not white like they were. And everything is looking uh, symmetrical and happy. The only thing else I want to show you, because there was a mention of, of um, license plates, and this is one of the differentest type of license plate deals I have ever come across. In fact, it's quite uh, unique, actually. If you notice that, even the license plates light up. Okay. Well, in the 3D editor, there are no license plates. What? Yeah, no shit. So if I come over here like this, and I go back to here, we touch these plates. I say we touch these plates. Yeah, okay. Let's try and do it again. Touch the plate. Um, no. Let's try it again. Let's do it in the front. This thing again is fighting me tooth and nail. Won't be happy till I spaz the fuck out. 
not showroom. There we go. There we got it. It's called Material 3. See that? But here's the real deal right here. Take a look at this pisser. This is what we've got to find. It's called a 558490A14. So we got 55 and 14 we're looking for. And we're going to find that in our textures folder. Okay. Let's minimize this for this moment. Come over to textures folder. Starts with a 55 and ends with a 14. There it is right there. Let's copy this and paste that here. Now we, we're going to need the B. Copy this and paste that over here. Okay. Now we close this down. Now check this shit out. We got to go back to the DDS converter, just like this, and we do the 14, convert to JPEG, okay, now the B is going to be the purple part of this, it makes it stand out nice, gives it 3D, so we go to edit, there's the, the, um, the license plate, okay. Now it's only 512 by 512, so things aren't very big. But that's what it is. Now, Humble, how'd you get it to light up? Yeah, it was a little bit of a job, but I did figure it out. And actually everything on this page lights up because I, I turned the whole thing into a light. But if I wanted to change this license plate to something else, that would be a little bit of a job. But how would I do it? Um, well, I would do it this way. I would come over to Barbara's box. Oh, I got a ton of these converters if anybody needs one. And license plates. Uh, there's Canadian. And uh, let's see, Alberta. Let's go to British Columbia. Okay. So we need this, and we need this. All right. Paste these over here. Now separate them so they're not together. Now we want to open that one up, so we got to go to the DDS converter. We're going to add the plate. Okay, now here he is right here. I don't know how big he is yet. 512 by 512. Okay, well he's way to F too big, so we're going to have to knock him down in size. Say, I'd say 60% anyway. All right, try to remember 60% and then hit save. Now, we're going to come up here. We're going to paste from. There he is right there. Okay, it's 60%. Man, I was pretty close. I was doggone close. Real close. That was a pretty good guess. Actually, it wasn't bad. We're going to do that and just drag the edge over. 60% and drag the edge over and hit there. Okay, now watch this. We're going to do the same thing with the other part. Isn't this cool? Now we're going to save it. This is not the way you do this, by the way, but that's the way we're doing it right now. Now we got to go to the second half. So we're going to go to the plate end and do that. Plate end. Oh, fuck. Excuse me. Plate N. Convert. Add it. Resize. 60%. Save that. Okay. 
Now that's our happy little plate N. But now we've got to do the other part of that other thing, which is over here. So we go up to here and do this. Now without these converters, you can see you're dead in the water. Now we go and edit that, and you see where the plate is? Let's get it a little closer, and uh, now we're going to come over here to grab from. That's this little guy. Right here. Come over to the edge. Remember what we did the last time? Get right to the edge. And we dragged the little bastard right over to here. You know, if, if we're close, it's going to be exactly right. Boom. Just like that. Now, we take this shit can, and we can start whipping out all this nonsense that we're not going to use. Okay? That cleans it right up nice. So the only thing we're left with is that and that, this and this. Now, we come down to the fair lane build, and we put these right in there so they're happy. All right? Now we're going to make a copy of both of those. Alrighty. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. You fucked up. Hang on, hang on. What's this thing? It's got to be a JPEG. It is. Oh, I was, yeah, I, I got lost. I apologize. And now we'll do the other one. Okay. Now, let's go to the skins f folder where we have this. We're going to drag this in there. We're going to drag this in there. That way not everybody has to have the same kind of skin. Now we're going to go to the showroom. You'll see different uh, license plates on the car. Now it's British Columbia. How do you like that? Isn't that cool? And if we go to here and we light it up, they light up. British Columbia. And that's how you do that. It's a little bit involved. It took me a while to learn how to do it. Uh, but as you take a look at it, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's it's not terrible by any stretch of the imagination. But that's how we did it. So this this particular one is from British Columbia, and it's got all the heavy duty stuff on it. And um, and the other one, of course, will not be any car you want from British Columbia can have those files placed inside. Otherwise, it's going to default to New York. You could have a whole tribe of the bastards with different ones if you want to go through all that to put it together that way. So that, that, I hope that's a help to you. If you want to learn how to get into doing this type of thing, that is a way to do it. It takes time. It's uh, sometimes very stressful on, uh, well, thank God I don't live in a house full, hold full of people, like a wife or something. Well, that'd be nice, but she'd flip out hearing me cuss and go ape shit, I'm sure. So that you want to keep down to us uh, very fairly well. But there we go, guys. That's how you do it. I hope I can get a video out of this. And I hope you've learned something. And I hope uh, you had fun. Now, the car itself is a ball to drive. And I was going to do that today, but we ran out of time. So maybe another day soon. Okay? Have a good one, everyone.